welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel i'm jennifer marie and today we're gonna be testing out the plug in jed yep the straightener i got it at sally's and it was only 19.99 and i saw that price and i was like well, let's try it out it is a mini one though that's what the lady was telling me was that it's like a mini one because it does look a little tiny so the box at least looks tiny so i don't know how this actually looks so let's take a peek inside and see how it looks. Oh gosh, it is super mini. So it comes like this. So I'm take that off. This is super duper small. I don't know how good it is or how fast it will straighten my hair. I did um, blow dry my hair because I just got out of the shower. So my hair is a little bit more straight than normal. My hair is usually pretty frizzy and naturally like in a wavy sense like you can kind of see a little bit of wave not much but that's usually how my hair is if i let it air dry it's usually like a little wavy little kind of curly um but if i blow dry it then it usually comes out like this but i just wanted to try it to see how it would kind of like you see the little waves right here um, but I just wanted to try it out to see if I could put it in my routine because I do like having straight hair at work looking a little bit more presentable than when I get out of the shower and my hair is like, you know. Also in this video, I am going to be talking about why I've been off of YouTube for about a month or like six weeks. I don't know exactly how long I haven't uploaded a video, but I will be getting to that too as well. So let's get on and let's try this bad boy out. Okay guys, I plugged it in and there is an on and off switch right here. Um, all you do is just push it down and then it turns on. It does say that it is going to get up to 350 degrees. Okay guys, so while we're waiting for this to heat up because it's still a little cool, I'm going to kind of explain why I haven't uploaded and I really honestly haven't even filmed or edited. I did film a couple videos because I usually pre-film videos and I edit them throughout the week. One. I haven't really liked what I filmed. I don't even know if I'm going to post the videos I filmed. I've recorded like three or four videos. I don't even know if I'm going to edit them. I have to look at them first. But like when I was filming them, like after I filmed it, you just know that you don't like the content that you're making, basically. Um, when you become like a YouTuber or any person that's even making videos, you can tell, mm, I don't really know if I like this, um, what I filmed. Like, you know, like you just get the feeling. So that's what I was feeling for those videos, but I haven't been able to edit or film because we've had some family issues. My boyfriend's dad did get shot five times around October 30th, and we have been in the hospital visiting him. Luckily, no major arteries or organs were hit. He honestly had a guardian angel on his side to protect him, which we are so thankful for. And we honestly have been just living through this really big nightmare. I can't give out too many details just because it's still an ongoing investigation. Um, there's still trials to be held. Um, the only thing that I can say is that he was shot five times and he is doing much better now. So we have been spending literally every day at the hospital, anytime that we can spend at the hospital while we're still going to work and everything. I did take off a couple days because I we just didn't know at first what was going to happen. But once we knew that he was okay and everything like that, we decided to let's go back to work let's you know like we do still need money and stuff like that so we went back to work and anytime that we had a day off or anytime we would go to work like in a later time like if I went to work at 1 p.m we would be there early in the morning so that has been my life for the past six seven weeks now really don't know how long it's been <laughs> I'm losing track of time but that's basically why I haven't been able to upload or film and also because I just don't know if I like the content that I film too. So I'm finally being able to sit down after everything is a little bit more settled down. I'm able to sit down and actually film something that I know I'm going to like to film because I really do want to know if this thing actually works so I can plug it into my daily life and see if it can actually help me with my time. Um, but that is my little PSA kind of thing on why I've been gone. 
so sorry to my um, subscribers if you guys were waiting for a video I do apologize but I am back and hopefully we'll be back on my every weekly video upload I'm gonna try to be a little bit more consistent and do like every Fridays or every Saturdays so that way I can make sure that I get my weekly uploads done but yeah yes so that's what's happened also we have a GoFundMe page as well we are trying to raise at least five thousand dollars for the medical bills so that way we can help them out um his parents in this because it, it was a very he's been in the hospital basically from october 30th till literally now he's still in the hospital recovering so it is a bit pricey for medical bills we all know this so i will link the gofundme page down below in the description box if you guys would like to donate we appreciate it um and everyone who has donated we appreciate it as well so much you don't understand our appreciation for this and let's get back to this video i think this is hot if i can leave my hand on this it's not hot <laughs> oh this thing takes forever to i don't know if, hmm now i'm questioning myself if it's gonna work because it's taking forever to heat up so i know it's not all the way heated up but let's go ahead and try this to see if it's and i do have my mirror here so that way if because I obviously can't see over there. We all know I'm blind as a bat. And I still don't have contacts. Why? I don't know. I have vision insurance now. And I just haven't been able to go. I don't know if it's good to do the upboard. Or just do it like a regular brush. So the one thing I don't like is that my hair is usually a little bit more straighter on this end of the spectrum of my hair. Like the back end. So I don't really know if it's 100% working or not. Let's see if I can, I'm probably going to take down this section because I know I have like wavier sections on this side. Like my kind of, my face bangs, whatever they're called, the face frame, that's what it is. My face frame is usually a little bit more on the kind of wavy side. Like, do you see that flip that it has? I don't know if y'all can see that because I really can't see y'all. Sorry. So, let's go down like a regular brush. I think that did work because I kind of did a little flip at the end. Oh yeah, that definitely got it straighter. So this does work, but I have so much hair that I don't know, because it's not like a completely straight, it's like a, I don't, like, I don't know, like, I want it to be like straight, straight, straight. We can try this section right here as well. Maybe I'm just taking two small sections to where it's not really wanting to work, because I know it says take a half inch to two inches, and I think that one was maybe like, a half inch but let's see here so one thing this back part right here is super super hot do like I keep wanting to go like that like I do with my regular brush and it burns the tip of my fingers so bad so I highly don't recommend touching that part if you are gonna get this so it is getting straighter but I feel like I feel like my straightener, like a legit straightener, would be faster than this. And that's just my personal opinion. So I decided to redo the hair part just because my hair was straight with it blow drying. Not straight straight, but it was like straighter than normal. So this is my hair when it has been air dried completely. I even took a nap and it's like this. So this is how my hair is. So we're gonna see if this little bad boy can actually straighten my hair and 
I already preheated it too <laughs> so that way I wouldn't have to be waiting for it so I'm gonna just do it like I did in the previous clips where I'm just gonna brush my hair basically and I already brushed my hair out so I don't have to worry about that I'm probably just gonna like split my hair so that way yeah and there's I think there's yeah I got makeup or like foundation on my hair and it won't come out and I really didn't feel like getting a wipey and making it wet because I don't want to damage the hair if it's wet. Okay guys, so if my hair is like this, it's not getting as straight. I feel like I'm having to like pass it a whole bunch of times. Cause this part right here, let me see if I can pick it back up. This part, it looks straighter. I mean, it's slowly but getting there. I honestly feel like my straightener would actually be faster than this because I can heat it up to I think I heat it up to like 4 I think it's like 430 or something like that some crazy heating because my hair is thick like I did get it thinned out a week ago but it's still thick so I don't know I feel like since I still have like that thickness of hair it's not gonna do as much for me because I don't know it's just weird because like whenever it's like this like don't get me wrong it did it is getting it straight but I feel like how long is this gonna take me to get straight it takes me like 15 to 20 minutes to straighten my hair right now we're at eight minutes so let's see So this is like my legit final thoughts is if you do already have kind of the straighter hair and it's just a little wavy, it definitely does get it straight. Not pin straight, but it does definitely get it straighter. Um, you'll see in the clips that I have before when I have it with blow dried and it's straighter, it does get it a lot much straighter and it looks really good. But when I have my hair normal where I'm just, you know, I just get out of the shower, I air dry it, there's nothing really like... I don't do anything to it and it's just like my natural hair it gets it straight but there's still those little waves and I feel like I'm having to constantly go over and over it again but usually with my straightener I just pull this little section like this I'm like that straight go to the next one so I think that's why it takes me like 15 minutes to get my hair done with my straightener because it's like at 430 degrees or something like that and this one only goes to 350 so I don't think it's really meant for thick hair because since I have thick hair I have to put it on a higher setting on my hair 
setting spray <laughs> on my straightener because it can actually I don't have to like redo it all the time and I don't want to damage my hair either even though 430 is damaging regardless but I'm not having to literally sit there like you know I'm able to just and it gets straight but yeah so I wanted to kind of like jump into this scene just because I know I said in the last clips I wish my hair was like my normal hair so I would see if it gets straight and I didn't want to leave me and y'all questioning if it could get straight or not so that's kind of why I did this and I like was like you know what let me just film this real quick see how it looks kind of that stuff but I mean it got it straighter than it was before it's not like this hot mess I'm not for sure if it would work better or not if it's more expensive or not I don't know if it's gonna be like a stronger like if it goes to a higher setting like I feel like if this went to maybe four 400 or maybe like 420 430 it might be a little bit better so i'm not percent sure also guys i got contacts so i can see y'all <laughs> but i honestly think that it it does work as long as you have like maybe on the thinner hair not like thin thin but like not to where my hair is my hair is pretty thick so i think i'm gonna jump back to the other clips and kind of finish it off so that way you guys kind of know my thoughts on it but definitely um if you have thin hair i would probably get this if you have thick hair i would probably be on the iffy side on it but it is 19.99 so if you do want a hair brush straightener um this one is pretty cheap but let's go back to the other clips so overall this is my thought of it uh it did get the job done it did straighten because you gotta remember the way you're moving this is gonna be the way it straightens so sometimes when i brush my hair i'm kind of like this so it did at that flip if I was more like this, maybe it might have done better. But I feel like it doesn't get all the way inside of those like, like do you see here how the hair, like the hair is getting inside those bristles? Whenever I'm this way, I feel like when I'm going down here, it doesn't get inside those bristles. So whenever you're kind of going like this, it works a little bit better, but it will make like a little bump because it's going to what the brush is doing. So it's not like a true straightener because true straightener you can actually just keep going down keep going down and even with the slightest movement it's still a little bit straight with this one there's not two sides like a clamp so it can't really do that straightness because you're having to pull your hair while putting this in there and i don't think that's healthy either for the hair to be pulling it like that in a sense i mean I don't know I'm not a beautician I am not a hairstylist I have no means I have no degree or background in hairstyling I have dyed my own hair and stuff like that but that's pretty much it <laughs> like I don't really have any sense on like the mechanics of hair and what's good and what's bad but to me that just doesn't seem good because I know whenever you brush your hair you want to brush from the bottom going up because you don't really want to tug on it so that's my understanding from that the pros about it is it is small it is compact you can literally bring it with you anywhere if you do need a touch up or anything like that the con is this back piece right here gets super hot i burned my what is this, my pointer finger like five times because i'm so used to whenever i'm brushing my hair is like i'm used to having this on the back i'm not used to having my whole hand like this so that did burn a little and then whenever i was going like this to go right here sometimes i'll touch my neck and i'm like oh that did not feel good so i don't know if that's because it's a cheaper cost that they can't have like a good backing to it to make sure that they don't burn the users i'm not for sure on that i don't know maybe all straightener hair brushes are like that i mean i would keep it just to like kind of use every now and then but it's not gonna replace my straightener my straightener and me are best friends it gets my hair straight does what I need to do without me having to like legitly pull my hair to get it inside some little bristles no so I think it's a okay one I mean I have thick hair maybe it might work better with thin hair I'm not 100% sure um, if you've used this product and it works for you great um, everyone is different so to me this one was just a little meh I'm not gonna return it because it was just $19 and it does what it says it does basically it does straighten not 100 percent like straight straight because i know i have some bumps here and there but i mean like this part right here it still didn't get it 100 percent to where i like it to be i do like this but it kind of just reminds me of me just blow drying my hair and just really brushing it out 
so that's also why I'm not that big of a fan of her or not like OMG like I need this and you need to buy this is like life-changing no to me it's just okay like honestly if you can blow dry your hair and brush it at the same time it's kind of like that so that's why I'm not like hmm, yay like let's all buy this and yeah no so that is my first impressions kind of does this work thing kind of thing and it does work I'm not gonna lie it does work but it doesn't work to the extent where it's actually straightening like pin straight I feel like you can get the same results like I said with a blow dryer and a hairbrush I'm sorry little guy you're just not a flop but just didn't really impress me but that's okay also guys don't forget I do have a link down below for the GoFundMe page any amount is appreciated and everything is 100% going to the medical bills we are not gonna touch it at all and you guys have a wonderful day bye